Well, hello everybody, it's Rose. And I am coming back to you now to open the 18th of my humongous Peggy By Hall paintings. So I'm still on the first bag that I received um, and it's just under half full. So let's take the next one, just picking at random. Let's see what we have here. And I will be linking up in the corner uh, to the playlist for all of my humongous Peggy By Hall opening videos. And um, I'll also be um, showing you the, the link to the getting ready to open video. Because that one includes the rules that I followed uh, to order when I saw all those paintings on uh, free. Uh, okay, so my first impression as I was unrolling this was, oh my goodness, look at those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And now as I am unrolling it, I am thinking, oh goodness, too bad it wasn't a bigger size that was available because unfortunately... This looks just too pixelated, which I knew when I made the order, but I was following my rules, which you can find at 545 on the Getting Ready video. Um, yes, yeah, so I knew that it was not going to turn out terribly well, but what the heck. I'm doing this for science and also so that you guys can have a better sense, especially for newer diamond painters. You can have a better sense of what you get in a smaller size versus a larger size, okay? So this one, I believe I call Fairy with Tiger. So I ordered this from Peggy Bye. I ordered it on January 3rd. It was shipped along with um, the other 31 in this part of the order uh, on January 11th, and it was delivered on January 30th. Uh, so this one here, it's a 40 by 30 canvas, and it said on the website that the drill field was 33 by 24. So like I say, I knew that was going to be way too small to show the level of detail that a painting like this requires, but we'll see. Okay, so it's 24 high, and 34 wide. Just over three, 33 and a half, but to me that's 34. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's take a look at the canvas. It, it arrived in pretty good shape, pretty flat. Uh, I think that'll flatten out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think that'll flatten out as I um, store it with the, you know, the others piled on top of it. And also, I find that using the tongue depressor to um, help flatten out the canvas a little bit does help the issue of those nail increases as well. Um, I mean, it doesn't eliminate them completely, but it helps. All right. So let's just... Flatten that out. It's not perfect because the plastic was not laid perfectly to begin with. There were bubbles in it, and I'm not going to be able to eliminate all of those bubbles, uh, and I don't want to take the time during this video to do that. So, um, so it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay with me. Um, I might fuss a little bit more if the diamond painting was more amazing. Um, I've always loved this picture, by the way, but I knew that because of the level of detail, I'd have to buy it in a really, really big size, and um, and I just, I didn't love it that much. Um, I've bought a lot of other diamond paintings with fairies in them um, that I liked more. Anyway, so there you go. That is the fairy and tiger. It is, uh, let's see, 25 colors, um, and it cost me, I'm going to start uh, keeping track of the number of colors on each of the diamond paintings, 
uh, because that's an interesting that's an interesting t statistic to keep as well. Um, so it cost me seven dollars and twenty two cents for the shipping. Okay, uh, all of the free paintings on Peggy Buy um, you have to pay shipping for. And because I bought 44 and they came out to, I don't know, $317 or $321, uh, it worked out to $7.22 per painting. Now, this painting would have cost, it's not on free anymore, uh, so this size of this painting now costs $7.90. And you get it for free shipping, so I would have saved, no, I did save 68 cents. I saved 68 cents by buying it when I had to pay for shipping, but not the painting, okay? So that's not a bad deal. Uh, and again, this is something, you know, to keep me occupied when I'm on a trip or something like that. And just want a diamond painting to, you know, keep my hands busy while I'm, you know, babysitting or watching TV with my dad and my stepmom or whatever. So let's take a look at the 25 colors. And I can't remember if I showed you this. Here is the toolkit. Uh, regular wax, regular boat, small boat, no funnel, no uh, opening, and regular one-placer. No bags. All right, let's see what we've got here. And I will be showing you all of the pictures, or sorry, not all of the pictures, all of the diamonds so that you can you know, decide whether you like this painting because of the colors and are interested in buying it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, whoops, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right, so there you go. So um, so that is uh, that is the Fairy and Tiger. I've got all the drills. It's round. I forgot to mention that. I will show you now the uh, legend. I think this will be easy to read especially with the light pad. I'm not sure I like the red printing on some of those colors. I'd prefer it if it was white printing. Although that F doesn't come out too clearly on the number 11, 823 there, but the six and seven do. So yeah, I think I would have preferred to have uh, white lettering on the symbols uh, when it's on a dark color, but you can't have everything. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be hard to read. Um, but other than that, it's, it's clear. It's just that the red print in the symbols is not the easiest thing to read. Okay, and so there you go. Very clear. Uh, no circles, no black circles around the uh, drill placement area for each of the symbols, but that's okay for me, might not be okay for some of you. So just be aware that between the red lettering and the mostly no circles, um, you, may not, you may not enjoy this. Uh, and of course, the size. I think in a bigger size, this one here I actually would not get in less than a 40 by 50. I think a 40 by 50 might look really nice. And that's a 40 by 50 drill area, not canvas size. I think it would look nice. I think you would get sufficient detail. But for this, uh -uh. that's too small. Okay, so that is my uh, first impressions of the Fairy and Tiger from Peggy Bye. 
and I hope it helps you if you are on the fence about buying it. Um, thank you very much for watching. To all my subscribers, thank you for subscribing. If you aren't a subscriber yet, this might be a good time to click the subscribe button. And um, you can follow me on Twitter and you can send me email down below um, or send me email. No. You can send me pictures of your various works that you're working on at either my Twitter address to show them to everybody or uh, to my email address. And also don't be shy about asking me questions. I will try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Okay, so take care everybody. I'll shoot another video or two yet today and then I think I'll stop for today and um, and start producing some of these. Okay, so take care. Until next time, this is Rose saying bye-bye.